हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ माइंड मैप टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज अर्बन फॉरेस्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक देन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ अर्बन फॉरेस्ट्री नगर वन स्कीम बेनिफिट्स ऑफ अर्बन फॉरेस्ट्री एंड लास्टली चैलेंजेस इन अर्बन फॉरेस्ट्री फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक Urban forestry is the practice of managing and cultivating trees and other vegetation within urban and suburban areas. It encompasses various activities including planting and maintaining trees, shrubs and green spaces in cities and towns. It concentrates on all tree dominated as well as other green resources in and around urban areas. The primary objective is to maximize the ecological, social and economic benefits that urban trees and greenery can provide. Urban forests are powerhouses for providing ecosystem services such as air pollution removal, storm water pollution capture, carbon sequestration, green infrastructure etc. In Indian cities, cities like Gandhinagar, Chandigarh and Delhi leads in urban greenery. Now moving on to characteristics of urban forestry primarily located in densely populated urban and suburban environments diverse range of tree species promoted to ensure resilience against pest diseases and environmental stressors native species are favored for their adaptability to local conditions human centric approach with strong emphasis on the well-being of urban residents provision of environmental services that includes in air purification carbon sequestration storm water management and climate regulation urban trees acts as natural filters cooling agents and flood mitigators significant economic benefits as they can increase property values attract businesses and create job opportunities related to tree care landscaping and park maintenance urban forestry is adaptive and responsive to the unique challenges of urban environments Urban forestry is closely integrated with urban planning and development. It informs land use decisions, zoning regulations and infrastructure development. Now let's discuss about Nagar Van scheme. The initiative was launched in 2020. This initiative aims to create 200 urban forest nationwide over the next 5 years. The activities under the scheme will be funded by compensatory afforestation funds. According to the scheme 90% of the CAF money goes to states with the remaining 10% retained by the center The Varje Urban Forest in Pune Maharashtra serves as a model for the program The scheme emphasizes collaboration between the forest department municipal bodies NGOs corporates and local citizens These urban forests will be located on existing city forest land or vacant land provided by urban local bodies now let's have a look at benefits of urban forestry trees and plants acts as natural air filters absorbing pollutants such as carbon dioxide nitrogen oxides and particulate matter thus improving air quality in urban area it helps in reducing the impacts of urban heat island effect urban forest provides natural shade and cooling reducing the overall temperature and energy consumption especially during hot summers urban forest provide habitat for various wildlife species from birds to insects trees and green spaces absorb rain water and reduce surface runoff helping to prevent flooding and erosion urban forestry enhances aesthetic and recreational value of cities well maintained urban forest increase property values and attract businesses which can boost local economies Now lastly let's discuss about challenges in urban forestry in densely populated urban areas finding space for planting and maintaining trees can be a challenge innovative solutions like vertical gardens and rooftop gardens can help maximize green spaces urban trees often face stressors such as pollution soil compaction and limited water availability species selection is crucial for urban forestry Native trees are typically more resilient and better adapted to local conditions. Invasive species should be avoided to prevent ecological imbalances. Successful urban forestry initiatives require community involvement and support. 
Now it's time for the practice questions. First of all, prelims based question. Consider the following statements. 1. As per law, the compensatory afforestation fund management and planning authority exists at both national and state levels. 2. People's participation is mandatory in the compensatory afforestation programs carried out under the Compensatory Afforestation Fund Act 2016. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? 1 only, 2 only, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 nor 2. And now mains question. Discuss the significance of urban forestry in the context of sustainable urban development and analyze the challenges and strategies for implementing successful urban forest initiatives in densely populated urban areas. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.